Hello and welcome to Crooked House Gaming. Here at Crooked House Gaming, we like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. In this episode, we will continue to explore the gameplay of Democracy 4. Democracy 4 is a political sim that lets you choose the role of a world leader and govern a country. If this sounds like something you'd be interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome. And be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. We are presently playing as Chancellor of Germany. When I hit that button, we will be entering our third year of our second term as Chancellor of Germany. Let's see how we did. Female leader. A female leader has been elected as the head of the opposition. Representation of women at the highest level of governments has resulted from a sustained campaign against gender equality in our society. The liberals are happy at plus 10%. Liberalism is up at plus 10%. Budget report. There's a budget deficit of 51.70 billion euros. We need to reduce spending or raise taxes. Polls report. The polls do not look good. Our last poll put is at 26% of the vote in an election. Economic forecast. Unfortunately, it seems that the global economy is in a deep recession and our GDP is severely reduced as a result. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be adequate. Security briefing. Intelligence services report a growing concern about a relatively small extremist religious organization known as Angels of Heavenly Justice. We should keep a close eye on their activities. Angels of Heavenly Justice threat assessment is a three. Our security effectiveness is adequate. We have 12 political capital to spend. We need to reduce spending. Child benefit, a fixed payment made by the state directly to parents to assist in the cost of bringing up children. Popular with parents for obvious reasons and the poor who see it as a redistribution tax, but capitalists are opposed to such an unnecessary level of interference by the government. This is 97% popular with the vote. We will spend three political capital to reduce this. This will return 1.33 billion euros to our government. Let us apply the changes. We have nine political capital to spend. Family planning. Implement a program of family planning to improve sexual health in your country. Typical services include education, medical advice, and contraception distribution. This program will enable individuals to plan the number and spacing of their children. Family planning empowers women and reduces the number of babies born into poverty. This is 71% popular with the vote we are going to spend two political capital to reduce this this will return 62.6 million euro to our government we will apply the changes we have seven political capital to spend foreign aid some countries have very poor economies poor education or food shortages and it can be argued that a relatively rich nation such as ours have a moral duty to help them others may argue that the first priority of any nation is to its own citizens and if those citizens wish to help they can do so individually through charities. This is 95% popular with the vote. We will be spending two political capital to reduce this. It will return 0.35 billion euro to our government. We will apply the changes. We have five political capital to spend. Disability benefit, a direct payment from the state to disabled people to allow that for the fact that they are possibly unable or need assistance to work. Additionally, many disabled people have special requirements in terms of transport or housing. This is 100% popular with the vote. We will be spending two political capital to reduce this. It will return 1.3 billion euro to our government. We will apply the changes. We have three political capital to spend. Refugee policy. Most countries accept that they have a moral responsibility to take migrants from disaster zones or war-torn countries, but there are strong debate on how loose these restrictions and limits should be, especially if climate change and other factors lead to a large rise in global refugees. We will be spending three political capital to lower this. We will return Turn 24.94 million euro to our government. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our first term of our third year of our second term as Chancellor of Germany. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering our second term of our third year of our second term as Chancellor of Germany. Let's see how we did. The GDP is up. Crime is down. Foreign presidential visit. There is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. A president of a nation with a fast growing economy has invited you to an official state visit. The visit could be excellent opportunity to encourage trade with that country which would be great for jobs but the country's record on human rights is highly questionable. Turn down the offer. This foreign leader has an appalling record on both human rights and attitudes to minorities within his country. There will be a widespread anger amongst both ethnic minorities and human rights campaigners here and in international community if you carry out this visit which is effectively an endorsement of this man's brutal policies. 
accept the offer. The visit should go ahead. Firstly, it would be great for the economy, potentially creating jobs amongst the very minorities who oppose the visit. Secondly, we cannot possibly influence the behavior of other nations. If we refuse to even meet with their leaders, we will turn down the offer. The liberals are happy at plus 4%. Foreign relations drops at negative 12%. The ethnic minorities are happy at plus 9%. Budget report. The government is currently running a budget deficit of 47.62 billion euros. We should take steps to reduce this. Polls report. The polls do not look good. Our last poll put us at 11% of the vote in an election. Economic forecasts. Unfortunately, it seems that the global economy is in a deep recession and our GDP is severely reduced as a result. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be adequate. Security briefing. Intelligence services report a growing concern about a relatively small extremist religious organization known as Angels of Heavenly Justice. We should keep a close eye on their activities. The Angels of Heavenly Justice threat assessment is a three. We have 11 political capital to spend. Let's take a look at our cabinet. The foreign policy minister is unhappy with us and has been unhappy with us for a few terms. We are going to fire her. We will be hiring Conrad Seidel for foreign policy. We have 11 political capital to spend. We're trying to reduce our government debt. Military spending. A modern, well-equipped military can cost an absolute fortune and many people feel that the money could best be spent elsewhere. Others, especially patriots, would argue that you cannot put a price on freedom and security and also point out that huge benefits for our businesses, technology, and employment figures. Right now, we are lightly defensive. We are going to spend six political capital to reduce this to reservists. We will return 2.96 billion euro to the government. We will apply the changes. We have five political capital to spend. Gender transition. Some religious groups and conservative sections of society argue that there are only two genders and that changing gender should not be allowed. Others argue that gender has always been fluid and nobody should enforce their gender views on others. Ultimately, the state has to take a stance on the extent to which gender transition is officially accepted or rejected. This is 86% popular with the vote. We will be spending three political capital to reduce this. We will return 1.37 million euro to the government. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our second term of our third year of our second term as Chancellor of Germany. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering our third term of our third year of our second term as Chancellor of Germany. Let's see how we did. The GDP is up. Power lines. There is an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. Angry citizens are protesting against a project to build power lines through their villages. These power lines are necessary to further increase use of renewable energy sources. Not building them would be an economic setback. But if you ignore the citizens, this will make them even angrier and supportive of their cause. Build the power lines anyways. Nobody wants power lines next to their houses, but they have to be built somewhere. And until recently, these people have been demanding more clean energy. The power lines will be built. Stop construction. There are alternative ways to explore like underground power lines. And there are claims that the health of those living near power lines may be in danger. It is better to be safe than sorry. Build the power lines anyway. Everyone is unhappy at negative 5%. The farmers are unhappy at negative 12%. The capitalists are happy at plus 10%. A budget report. The government is currently running a budget deficit of 40.89 billion euro. We should take steps to reduce this. Polls report. The government is not so popular amongst the citizens. Only 14% of them intend to vote for you in the next election. Economic forecast. The global economy is in a recession and this is having a negative effect on our GDP. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be adequate. Alcohol abuse is affecting our expenditure. Alcohol abuse. We have a serious problem with people consuming alcohol in large quantities. This is obviously bad for their health, but it is also leading to crime and disorder in our city. Alcohol law. There is an ample evidence that excessive consumption of alcohol can lead to health problems and even premature death. However, some people object to the state interfering in an individual's right to choose what he or she drinks. There is also a complication that the government may make a lot of money by axing alcohol. We presently do not have the ability to tax alcohol. We will spend a political capital to increase the drinking age to a minimum of 18. We will apply the changes. We have three political capital to spend. Alcohol awareness campaign. Alcohol can be dangerous even in moderation to raise awareness of that. This campaign will show all the trouble that alcohol can get you into from ruined friendships over accidents and addiction to sickness and death. Certainly not a happy topic but it is always better to have your mood dampened a little now and stay sober than to suffer big time later. This is 50% popular.
popular with the vote. We will spend one political capital to increase this. We will apply the changes. We have two political capital to spend. Charity relief tax, a policy designed to encourage the wealthy or anybody who pays tax to donate to charity by deducting some of their charitable donations from their income when calculating various taxes. This is 100% popular with the vote. We will spend one political capital to increase this. We will apply the changes. We have one political capital to spend. Tourist ad campaign. Tourism is not only a source of income for many people and businesses, it also strengthens foreign relations. This campaign will run in foreign countries showing our most beautiful places, important sights to see, wonderful people to meet, tasty beers to drink, and maybe even throw in a few free tickets to museums and shows, all in the hopes of attracting more people to visit us. This is 50% popular with the vote. We will be spending one political capital to reduce this. This will return 10.87 million euro to our government. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our third term of our third year of our second term as Chancellor of Germany. Let's hit that button. We will now be entering the fourth term of our third year of our second term as Chancellor of Germany. Let's see how we did. The GDP is up. Richest company pays no tax. The richest multinational company in the world has paid us no tax this year despite turning over billions of revenue in our country. Using the best exploitive accounting practices and offshore tax havens that money can buy, this corporation is ensuring no one can compete whilst cheating our government out of much needed public funds. Socialists are furious and patriots cannot believe our great nation is unable to tax this foreign entity. Socialists are unhappy at negative 11%. Socialism is up at plus 10%. The patriots are unhappy at negative 9%. Budget report. The government is currently running a budget deficit of 35.30 billion euro. We should take steps to reduce this. Polls report. The government is not so popular amongst the citizens. Only 21% of them intend to vote for you in the next election. Cabinet report. The loyalty of your ministers can best be described as loyal. Their effectiveness is generally considered to be adequate. Economic forecast. The global economy is in a recession and this is having a negative effect on our GDP. We have 11 political capital to spend. State pensions. Rather than leave it up to the individual to provide for themselves after retirement, state pensions can guarantee a minimum standard of living for the elderly. Be aware that as life expectancy rises, the cost to the state of paying out pension increases hugely. The level of state pension may encourage or discourage citizens to save in private pension plans. This is 83% popular with the vote. We will spend a political capital to reduce this. We will return 5.99 billion euro to our government. We will apply the changes. We have three political capital to spend. Alcohol awareness campaign. Alcohol can be dangerous even in moderation to raise awareness of that. This campaign will show all the trouble that alcohol can get you into from ruined friendships over accidents and addiction to sickness and death. Certainly not a happy topic, but it is always better to have your mood dampened a little now and stay sober than to suffer big time later. We will spend one political capital to increase this to high. We will apply the changes. We have two political capital to spend. Needle exchange program. Drug addiction itself is bad enough already and dirty or infected needles are an additional danger for drug addicts. To help out, the needle exchange program will help the addicts get clean needles for their needs while also offering them help in getting clean and living a normal life again. Conservatives may think of this as enabling, but liberals see it as a good way to fight drug abuse in the long run. This is 85% popular with the vote. We will spend one political capital to reduce this. This will return 16.81 million euro to our government. We will apply the changes. We have one political capital to spend. Tourist ad campaign. Tourism is not only a source of income for many people and businesses, it also strengthens foreign relations. This campaign will run in foreign countries, showing our most beautiful places, important sites to see, wonderful people to meet, tasty beers to drink, and may even throw in a few free tickets to museums and shows, all in the hopes of attracting more people to visit us. This is 50% popular with the vote. We will be spending one political capital to reduce this. This will return 11.37 million euro to our government. We will apply the changes. We have zero political capital to spend and thus we are at the end of our fourth term of our third year of our second term as Chancellor of Germany and thus we are at the end of this episode. Thank you so much for stopping by our Cricket House. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow our future episodes. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.